This is how you can enhance your vocals using Kaden Live. So I'll be showing you a three-step method on how you can enhance your vocals directly inside of Kaden Live. We'll be covering sound quality, loudness, and stylization. All right, let's get started. Quick disclaimer, I usually work on my audio inside of Audacity. So I'll be taking a similar workflow inside of Kaden Live. So inside of Kaden Live here, I have a sample, an audio sample here. So let's go ahead and listen to it raw first. This is how you can enhance your audio or vocals inside of Kaden Live. All right, so this is how it sounds with no modification. So to get started, for the sound quality, we're going to start with a noise suppressor. Now, unless you're recording inside of a studio, a padded studio where there's no noise, you're most likely to get a bit of noise in the background or even some wind or such that your microphone might pick up. Speaking of, it's important that you start with some good sound, so a mic, maybe some padding around you. So the better the audio quality from the get-go, the easier it is to enhance it inside of Kaden Live. So the first thing we'll be doing is over inside of our effects, we're gonna go to the audio effects. So if ever we search for something, it's only giving us the audio results. And we're going to go to noise reduction and audio restoration. And we're gonna add the noise suppressor for voice. You can also search it in the search bar. Now I've changed these settings for this effect many times and I can barely tell a difference when changing them, but I can say that it does a very good job at suppressing noise in the background. Now, of course, if your audio is already good enough. So let's now have a listen to the audio. This is how you can enhance your audio or vocals inside of Kaden Live. Okay, so if I play for you this little part over here and I turn off the noise suppressor, You can see that we have a little bit of noise here, even in the inside of this paused area. And now if I turn on the noise suppressor, play back, no noise, right? So it does a decent job. And that's the first effect for our sound quality. Next, we're going to look for an EQ, so equalizer. So the EQ that I'll be using is the tap equalizer, but I should point out that there is the multi-bin EQ, which looks a lot more intuitive than the tap EQ. And the reason why I'm not using it is it doesn't always work on my system. Maybe you'll be more lucky and it'll work on your system. For me, I get some static a lot of the time. So one time it works, another time it doesn't work. Quick warning, if you're going to use some of these sound effects inside of Kaden Live, uh, be careful if you're using your laptop speakers. Some of them really take your sound to something that's exaggeratedly loud or buzzing. Or if you're using headphones, which you should be using headphones if you're working on audio. So yeah, so you could put some effects and it'll just blast some loud sounds in your headphones and that could damage your eardrums or catch you by surprise. So I'm going to add the tap equalizer by double tapping on it since we already have the track selected, make more space for it. Now I'm not gonna teach you or show you a one size fit all template for equalization or teach you what each and every one of the frequency does, but we're gonna cover a little bit about it and I'll include two links to two videos that you can find that are going to break down uh, equalization and vocals in such a digestible manner, they're short videos. I'll put the thumbnails on the screen here just so you can see them and you know go check it out after this video all right now when it comes to the tap equalizer it's broken down into two parts at the top we have eight bins and these are the bin number gain and that allows you to control the loudness you could say or the sound of the uh, the frequency that you want to target under these eight bins we have other bins from one to eight again and these control the frequency so you can see that bin one here controls the frequency from zero to 100 and from 100 to approximately 200 because that's where bin two starts in terms of frequency. So by using the bin one gain on top, you're affecting frequencies zero to 100, 100 to let's say 199, right? And all the way at the bottom, we have the wet and dry. And basically this controls how pronounced you could say the effect is. So if you push it all the way to the left, so it's dry, the equalizer is not really being applied. And if you push it all the way to the right, the equalizer is being applied. I also have some presets for this, so you can create your own presets. So you just adjust the settings and then save your presets. I have vocals one, you can see I have bin, bin one frequency set to 60. So that way I know that when I lower the gain for bin one, I'm simply eliminating all those bassy sounds that you don't really hear. So from Zero, you start from bass, bass sounds, and all the way up to 20,000, you're getting into treble. And in between, you have everything else. 
So again, check out the videos after this one, and they'll teach you a lot more about equalization. Because equalization really depends on the source audio, the source material that you're working with, and specific vocals. Next, we're getting into loudness. And for the loudness, we're going to be looking at, you have a few options here. Uh, normally in Audacity, I would use compressor, a compressor. So you have different options, but I find that they're not that intuitive. And some of them seems a bit uh, very, dis somewhat destructive with the audio. That could just be my limited knowledge. But one thing that can work for you is the simple compressor. So inside of volume and dynamics, we'll add the simple compressor over here. And it just works with a contrast system. The compressor is meant to somewhat equal out the loudest sounds and the quietest sounds. And over here, if we play it back, this is how you can enhance your audio or vocals inside of this is how you can enhance your audio or vocals inside of you can see it's already increasing the sound. Next we have gain. So you can you can either use both or just one, all depending on your source material and the gain starts at 100. You can use it to reduce it a bit or to increase the sound. And now before we start playing back with increasing the loudness, the other effect. So these two are optional. You can choose one or the other or both. But the other effect that goes into loudness is going to be the limiter. You have different options, but we're going to go for the volume and dynamics limiter, uh, which is very simple and straightforward. Now you have different sliders here. Input gain affects the original sound. Output gain affects what comes out after you've done your changes in the limiter. You have attack and release time, which is how quickly or slowly uh, does the limiter kick in and uh, let go. Uh, the ASC, I'm not sure the documentation on this. I haven't found it yet. And then we have normalized the 0 dB. And if you look in the audio mixer, 0 dB is all the way. So, you know, the limit where it can go up to. And then we have the limiter slider. As you drag it down, uh, it's going to stop sounds from going above a certain loudness. So with this, I usually go for 0 0.85, 0 0.80. Uh, again, it's going to depend on your sound. And this will just keep things from peaking. So if we play back, this is how you can enhance your audio or vocals inside of this is how you can enhance your audio or vocals inside of this is how you can enhance. And with the limiter, it's keeping them from going higher than a certain um, loudness, if you will. OK, so that's it for the loudness. And finally, to conclude, we have stylize and the stylization is just a bonus, if you will. It's not something you have to do, but I like to use reverb. And for this, I use the plate reverb. Now you have a few other options that you could use. You also have a delay option, which might give you a similar effect. But with the plate reverb, I don't really play with the time, which is how much latency. Uh, the dampening is, well, the higher the dampening, the less pronounced the reverb is. And the lower the dampening, the more pronounced the reverb is. The dry wet mix is how much the reverb mixes with the original audio and then the uh, the wet dry all the way at the bottom is how pronounced the effect is uh, applied overall right and i find that the default settings work pretty well sometimes i'll drop the dampening down to 0 0.2 and if necessary adjust the wet dry slider all the way at the bottom this is how you can enhance your audio or vocals inside of this is how you can enhance your audio or vocals inside of as I mentioned, I have two videos linked in the description so that you can learn a bit more about EQing. And that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, doubts, or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section and I'll get back to you. This is Nux Tux Creative Studio. My name is Jonathan and I'll see you next time.